Hello, you will be seeing this on Mother's Day or after. Welcome to my channel, I'm Kelly. I have been on booktube for about a month now and I thought it would be fun for Mother's Day to create my own tag. And this applies to mothers, but I would love for you to do it if you're a caregiver of any kind, whether a mother or not, because we all know that if we take care of kids, it makes the reading interesting. So my first prompt is, how have you gotten reading done with kids in the house? What are your trip tricks and tips? So when my kids were super little-ish, um, especially when they were baby, baby, babies, I would a lot of times have one of those boppy pillows. If they were kind of asleep on me and they wouldn't let me put them down, a boppy pillow, and then I would like get like a pillow to really support the baby's head, and I would have like another uh, pillow to prop my Kindle up, <laughs> and then all I would have to do is swipe swipe. I prefer um, physical books if I can, so sometimes I would get another little pillow to prop the book up and I would try to kind of wedge it in. I would turn, turn. So you might try that if you're mom of littles. When they got a little bit more toddler age, then I would try to sit around with them with books, um, little books for them to look at. While I was looking, we would maybe sit with me leaning against the couch and just have like a little time on the floor. And then now my kids are a little bit older, so sometimes we'll just have quiet time. Um, sometimes when they're littler and they're napping, you have to say, okay, for this nap, I'm going to do housework, but this nap, I'm going to get some book reading done or whatnot. So it's hard when they're little, it does get a little bit easier, but I love doing audiobooks with my family. I love reading classic children's books to them. It makes it just so much fun to make it a family experience to read. My next prompt is, what do you like to read to your kids or the children that are in your life? And I always have loved just really beautiful picture books. Jan Brett is a favorite for littles. Now that my kids are getting a little bit older, we're really into middle grade. I love the Green Ember series. I like to find nonfiction books about animals. We might take take different animals that we're studying and from the library and those are always so much fun even if you just like pick like a peregrine falcon or something like that it's just fun to learn things together maybe something that you've gone and experienced try to find something about that at the library so that is a little bit of what we do reading as a family and we always have an audiobook going when we're in the car driving someplace so next, what it, do your childhood memories mean to you about reading? And maybe you didn't have someone that read to you at night. Maybe you did. Maybe it wasn't your mother. Maybe it was your father or another family member if you did. Or maybe you didn't have that and you found books for yourself. But I do have precious memories of my mother reading this little picture book called Busy Days for Busy People. And if I can find a picture of that, I will put it up on the screen. But I think I picked that because it was one of the longer picture books that we had. And it would mean that I would stay up a little bit later at night. So the next prompt I have is, what are some words, and this is the last one, I wanted to keep this short and sweet. What are some words of encouragement you have for other mothers or other caregivers for your children or their children. And I think that my biggest advice is read aloud to your children. I don't care if your kids are tiny little newborns or if they're teenagers, read aloud to your kids. Maybe you have to have food involved if they're older. Make them some popcorn, give them some cookies, cut up some fruit, sit around and find something that you think will be pleasurable for them. There is nothing that can bring a family together like a good story. So that is the How Do Moms Read tag. I would like to tag Jillian from Novel Opinions. I would like to tag Talia from Bandana Book Moms. And I would like to tag Nicole from Dusty 
book sniffers. I love all their channel names and they are great ladies. I hope that you will check out their channels and I hope the ladies may wanna do the tag. Everyone have a great Sunday and enjoy your Mother's Day. And my thoughts or prayers are with those of you that are having a hard time with Mother's Day today. Take care, bye-bye.